Sicilian Defense, 2.NF3D63.G3. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The C pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the D4 square. NF3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on D4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on D4. When black eventually plays NF6, white is prevented from moving the piece to E5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on D6. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, G3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to G2. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. Games Master. It is the final book action. A wise decision. It is quite good. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is quite good. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This squanders a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. Very precise. It is best. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is excellent. There is a more effective technique to take a knightly outpost than this. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is quite good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to win a pawn. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. By doing this, the chance to double rooks on a single file is lost. It is incorrect. 
This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That pawn's capture grants you material. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This threatens to fork pieces. This prevents the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is best. This leads to losing a pawn. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is a blunder. This is the way to win a pawn. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a mistake and black now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of.